Hello, 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 and welcome back to Sunhaven. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we're on the hunt for Anne's sacks of treasure. Now, somewhere in this wood, Anne has buried a bunch of sacks of treasure in little piles, just like this. Excellent. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Number two is gotten. We need to get two more, and we also need to figure out how to get past this roadblock. Um, and all we needed for that were some potatoes, so we're going to need to spend some time waiting for our potatoes to grow. In the meantime, get some of these leafies out of here, protecting our own woods and getting these berries to snack on. Now, we haven't been too far into this woods yet. Two more sacks of treasure are missing. Let's see if we can find them, because we searched all the other woods. Do we see any down here? Let's see. See more leafies and these center pillars. Come on, get that crossbow out and going. Ooh, we definitely want to be collecting all the silk. Fantastic. Cozy vibes are not killing leafies. Because they are so cute. I mean, these center pillars, not so cute. But the leafies are adorable. I feel very bad having to get rid of them. Here's our second last pile. The penultimate pile, some would say. We could continue on west, or there is a trail up here towards the north. Oh, ah, leafies, I didn't see you. I was too busy on focusing on that book. Okay, we need to pick up this book. We can read that straight away. It will give us a bit of mana. Two in a, ooh, and a chest. Oh, it needs a key. Or is an iron key to open? Okay, well, we'll have to make some of those once we start collecting some iron. There it is. There's the final pile. Fantastic. So that is all of Anne's treasure sorted. And then what are we going to need to do next? Lug all of Anne's booty back to her. Of course, that's what you have to do. Make sure it makes sense. We're full of booty now. Oh, hey, are those peaches? Let's grab some of those. Ah, delicious. Fresh peaches. Ooh, and level 19 exploration. So good. Okay. We have unlocked one thing out of this fourth tier. So the well rested so at the start of each day. We're getting a powerful exploration buff. But is that what we want to continue to work on? There's so many good things in here. Like sil Silk Saver would give us a chance to get extra silk. I feel like that's going to be quite important. High jump could also be quite good. Now let's go with well rested. Um, and that gives us a longer bonus each day. All right, now I think we can just take a little sneaky shortcut here. <gasps> Leafies, no! Ow! Don't hit me. Very nice. We're, we're gonna run past all of them. Ow! Stop that. And get all the way home to find Anne. See, those leafies are just having a nice little cozy fire over there. We believe them be for now. Ooh. Eating a peach provides a very small amount of spell damage permanently, so that would actually make our fireball spell more powerful if we were to eat the peaches. Well, I feel like we should do that. Yeah, plus two. Nice. Okay, well, we've eaten them now. So, let's go see if we can find Anne. Where does she like to hang out? I feel like we usually just find Anne wandering around the town. But let's take a look at our map and see if we can see her. But Kitty's got a quest for us. Looks like Bernard's got a quest for us. And Anne is over at the tavern. Okay. Good. I like the tavern. It has the tastiest food you ever did see. Hello, Melissa. It's still not raining. Right, there she is. Anne, we did it. We found your treasure. Your booty. Wow, that was pretty fast, all things considered. All right, Evie, a deal's a deal. You can borrow my stone for now. Excellent. So this stone's going to allow us to translate a language. And we have a book that we need to read. And Amanda, the librarian, she doesn't think very much of us, but she's gonna be pretty impressed if we can read Elvish. And I think that's gonna help us build a friendship with her. All right, 
Thanks a lot, Anne. And uh, we'll make sure to return it. Right, let's go. Oh, do you know what? What time does the library close? Is it 8 p.m.? Well, we better hustle then. Quick, air skip the whole way. Oh, good. All right, Amanda. Don't let me down. I'm sorry, but what? Not only does the Stone of Tongues actually exist, but Anne is planning on selling it? Okay, at least, okay, at least she's not upset with us this time. Ah, forget about it. Let's see if this magic rock actually works. Plant a seed inside your bed. Grow a dream inside your head. Sleep in soil rich and dark. Leaves coiled up in bedtime bark. Wow. Now we know what it says. But what on earth does it mean? Hmm. She's going to take it back to Anne for us. We've got to trust Amanda to return the stone, but... All right. I mean, maybe we're making friends here. All right, let's go. We need to go talk to Edwin at the tavern. Now... I can't imagine the tavern closed at 8 p.m., so I feel like we should be all right to sneak that in before bed today. But just in case, let's, uh, let's be a bit quick about this. I mean, I don't know any taverns that close at 8 p.m., so should be all right. All right, Edwin, what do you got to say? Back again? <laughs> Your mysterious Navari text is nothing but a common elven lullaby. Oh, dearie me. I could tell you what I think it means, but it'll cost ya. Let's just say this. I got a tab open with Mari Marie for my drinks. She's been on me lately about paying it off. Pay off my tab, and they'll explain everything. Oh, well, oh, I mean, he sits in here every single day having a drink. How big is this tab going to be? We have no other option other than do it. All right, the tab, okay. What's that, hun? Did Edwin really con you to take care of his bar tab for him? Oh, great. Okay, how much does he owe? Here's the thing, dear. It isn't how much he owes so much as what he owes. Oh, boy. Instead of paying in coin, he promises, promised he'd cultivate some special elven grapes. You mean I can't just pay you in coins? It's grapes. I wanted to try my hand at fermenting my own wine. So the aspect of doing that with some special oven grapes was very exciting. Sadly, since opening this tab, he's failed to grow even a single vine for me. You're a farmer, so I guess maybe you can handle it instead. Makes no difference to me who grows them at least. I just want my grapes. Okay, well, I guess we'll go speak to Edwin about this grapes. Back scratching is the quest. <laughs> oh dear. Right, humans can be pretty gullible. Of course, I promised to grow some elven grapes. I just forgot to mention I don't know how to grow them. Fantastic. So nobody knows that is what you're saying. Okay. Don't worry, farmer. They're magical oven grapes. They'll only take a single night to grow. All right, let's see the seeds then. All right, he's given us 45 grape seeds. So I guess we just need to plant them. I mean, he said they only take one night to grow, but there's no way we're going to get 40 grape seeds planted before morning. I mean, we can try, but I don't think it's going to work. Let's see what we can do. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have a better hoe to till the land with. We're going to have to rely on rusty hoe over here. And uh, the, I have to water them all as well. Oh, boy. But it's a good thing we've got our farm cleared up a bit because we're going to need to make some space for these. You know what? We've already started hoeing a bit over here. This is where I was going to put my flowers with the bees. Uh, but we ran out of space. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we just need to go up eight then. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, counting with Evie. That's what you were here for, isn't it? Ooh, but a level up in farming is good. At least we'll have a nice plot of land here, ready to go uh, for whatever crop he comes after. Grapes. Can get those in the ground. At least this is very fast. And if I've mathed correctly, we should have five left over. Yes, because we didn't need to plant all 45. We only needed to do 40. Uh-oh, it's 11 p.m. though. This watering can isn't great. Go, go, go. Get them watered. It's a race against the clock here. I mean, what's the worst thing that happens if we don't make it to bed in time? End up in the hospital, I suppose. 
Dr. Warnhart probably going to charge us for the inconvenience. Oh, we did it! We did it! All right, quick, run! Run to bed! Woo! Are we gonna make it? Yes, I'd like to sleep. What an intense evening! Oh my goodness, okay. Got a bit of experience and a bit of money. I can't believe we managed to do it. Now we just need to go collect our grapes. But before we do that, let's see if uh, we can spend this barbing point. Ooh, tomorrow would be Sunday and we would get the animal food from Kitty. So if we do this, we'll get an extra five tomorrow. That seems like a good idea. So let's do that and get out of bed. Oh, do you know what? That we don't actually have any food for today. I'm gonna have to go to the shops. So you just sit tight, okay? We will get you food, I, I do promise. All right. Ah, there, our grapes are ready to collect. They look a bit, a bit brown, really. It just says remove. The grapes are dead. Oh no, they didn't survive the night, despite what Edwin said. Something went wrong. Maybe Edwin knows more. Okay, so what went wrong? Speak to Edwin at the tavern. I guess, I guess we'll need to remove all of these though. We are gonna have to retill all of this soil before we can plant anything else. We're not even getting farming experience for this. All right, we've got an inventory full of dead crops now, so good. Got a few things over here too. I think we got all the potatoes planted. Let's just, hey, our fish net has actually given us some average mouth bass. Not a large mouth bass, no, no, an average mouth bass. Um, what can we get rid of? I think we can sell the fish and the egg. We need those for something. Let's just get that out of here. Rubies, cookies. I don't know, but I think we need, probably need to take the dead crops to go show Edwin. And let's check our mail before we head there. You're working hard, I can see it in your wallet. I'm kidding, but I can tell that you've been getting more confidence, which is commendable. I don't do handles, but I appreciate small, another small business owner. Consider this a loan. Pay me back by shopping at my store sometime. She's given us well, she's given us uh, a bag with 75 coins in it. That's very random. Edwin, you know, I have my share of drinking buddies at the tavern, but you're someone that seems to want to just talk. Thought it was kind of annoying at first, but hey, maybe you grow me a bit. You can buy me a drink anytime. Barbara. Oh, look, we're making friends with Edwin and Catherine. Attention all customers. I'm writing to inform you that Sunhaven Farming Store now carries rare elven grape seeds thanks to a new supplier. Please come by the farming store if you want to try your hand at cultivating these remarkable grapes. I mean, that... That is kind of a rubber, like, she's putting that in our faces, isn't she? I mean, we just tried to grow elven grapes, and it has gone very, very poorly. But hey, overall we can't complain because we were given a random 75 coins. Melissa, it's still not raining today, sorry. Heading all the way back to the tavern. Let's find out about what actually went wrong with our grapes, because we followed the instructions. Supposed to take one night to grow. We did that. We managed to get them all in the ground. It's a lot of hard work too. It's such a small window of time to get it done. It's amazing what you can accomplish in two hours though. All right, Edwin, I've got a bone to pick with you. Let me guess, you got more grapes than you can carry and you're ready to pay off that tab. No, I planted the grapes and they died. Well, you know, now that I think about these grapes need more than just water, you have to infuse them. With some manners? No, mana. That's what I said, manners. That's why I can't grow the sick things. With you being the talk of the town, with your fancy sun dragon blessing, I thought you'd know what to do. Isn't that just how life goes? Yeah, okay. The red-haired human girl, she knows how to do it, so we'll have to go see if Lucia can help us. All right. Let's seek Lucia's help in infusing mana. Mm, now. Where is Lucia at? Sometimes she's in the town hall, but she often hangs out with Catherine. She's very excited. Don't mind me. Okay. <laughs> ah, she looks like she actually is in the town hall. So let's head over there then. Good, good thing we checked before just running down. Oops, sorry, guard. Didn't mean to speak to you. Heading inside, actually. Hello, Bernard. 
I've heard that you're quite helpful around town. I have a task I could use a hand with if you have time. What kind of task? Some of the decorative banners around town are looking a tad tattered. I need to repair them to keep Sun Haven looking ship shape. Okay, how can we help? If you could bring me some fabric. All right, we can do that. Of course we can. Um, we just need to uh, talk to Lucia really quick. Good day, Evie. Things aren't going so great. We need help with infusing some mana. Excellent. If you meet me in my office at Town Hall, which is where we are now, she'd be happy to teach us. All right. I mean, that's really convenient because I think if we just go up here, she's going to cancel whatever her business was and come immediately up here. Are we ready? Yes, let's do it. I like your spirit. Yeah, we've got, we've got spirit in spades. All right. Mana exists in every living thing. Perfect sense. 100% understand what's going on. Yes. Just don't think too hard. Oh, don't worry. I have no problems with that one. Uh, I'll try to be a good student. Just try to relax. When it comes to infusing mana, imagine it like casting a spell, but without the part where you discharge the energy at the end. Instead, draw the mana up through you and hold it. Okay. No, we... Yeah. We'd be a little lost. I don't really know what we're doing. Okay. Dead flower. We're going to fix it. Maybe. Infuse. <gasps> You did it. So quickly, too. Can't be surprised, because we're amazing and humble. The most amazing and most humble that there ever was. A single mana infusion will not drain much of your mana, but multiple infusions can add up quickly. All right, I think we've got the hang of it. She's given us some mana potions. That's definitely going to help. All right, take two. Try this again, shall we? All right, let's get home and quickly put those grapes in. Wait a minute, do we have grape seeds? We've only got five grape seeds, so are we actually going to need to go to Catherine? Oh no, speak to Edwin at the tavern. I wonder if he'll give us some more then. I hope it works this time. All right, plant 40 grape seeds, water 40 grape seeds, infuse 40 grape seeds. All right, let's just run home as quick as we can and get these grapes in the ground. Now, unfortunately, that does mean having to re-till all of this soil. So let me just get all of these seeds in the ground and we'll come back in a second. Okay, now that we've got those all planted and watered, we need to infuse them with our mana. And let's see. Oh, look, they go from kind of a grayish green to a much brighter green and you can see the mana like kind of pulsing through them but it is costing five minutes each time and you can just see that mana bar just take a little bit of a nosedive but I think if we just uh, drink that up we should be able to use a bit more here it was a good thing she gave us two mana potions because we're definitely going to need them your end of the deal. So now we just need to wait until morning to harvest the grapes and we have finished our end of the deal. Now, that's all the time we have for today. So you'll have to come back and see if next time, if we manage to grow these grapes this time, because we do not want any more sad, grape, dead plant remnants. <laughs> All right, if you're enjoying the Sunhaven series, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the exciting conclusion of Did We Grow the Grapes? <laughs> I'm Evie Green Bottle. It's been a blast, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.